100 FM, the Pike Foo Fighters, who were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year. And you'll be able to see that ceremony. When was that, Adam? Tomorrow night on HBO? Yes, sir. Yeah. 8 o'clock. Foo Fighters uh, got in there. I think they were inducted by Paul McCartney. They did a little jam at the end, of course. So that's uh, tomorrow, 8 o'clock on HBO. All right, it's Friday. It's uh, 8.33. It's time to do this. Welcome to the Pike Breakdown Lane. You break down and we point and laugh. <laughs> Just like the other Pike 100 FM, the Pike. So it's that time of the week where we collect your uh, voicemails. You've been leaving uh, voicemail messages on the Pike Breakdown Lane uh, at 774-670-0231. We've taken the best of your Breakdown Lane messages right here. Listen, you were talking about a Roadhouse reboot. Uh, I'm only on board if Adam Sandler plays every single role in it. (laughs) Nutty professor style. <laughs> then I'll watch a Roadhouse reboot. Other than that, forget about it. Okay, bye. Yeah, we talked. About, was that this week or was that last week? We were talking about the Roadhouse reboot. Uh, if it was this week, it's been a long week, yeah. man. No, I don't. Because Jake, no, it was Hall? last week. Because I was, I was in the studio. Oh, it was wow. last week. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's you know, it's a breakdown. Like you can say whatever you want. You can leave with a message, sure. but they wanted Jake Gyllenhaal to play uh, Swayze's character, Dalton. Yeah, right? and they were trying to figure out who else to. I think they should bring. They got to bring Sam Elliott back. You know? Mm-hmm. Oh no! Did he? He died in the first one. I think. So he's not. If I remember, back. I don't think. Oh, maybe as some kind of bouncer ghost or something yeah. like that. <laughs> soap opera. Soap operas bring him back all the time. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. How many times has Jason come back in the uh, right? Friday the Thirteenth movies? I mean, it's Roadhouse. It's not like we're going for scientific authenticity here. Right. Right. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Shu. It's Barney. My favorite Thanksgiving side, stuffing wrapped with bacon. Mm. Oh, my. Thank you for that. that. Stuffing good. wrapped in bacon. So would that be like stuffing balls wrapped in bacon? Or is he just take a big thing of bacon and a loaf and wrap it? Either way, it sounds good. I know. It sounds great either way. Yeah. Now, stuffing, I don't like homemade stuffing. I know people claim to have made the best homemade stuffing ever. Uh-huh. I am I am very – to me, it still – Stovetop nailed it. Oh, yeah, they're great. And yeah. So I've never found anything better than Stovetop. Have you? Um, yeah, actually, my, my in-laws and my wife uh, makes this French-Canadian classic pork stuffing. So it's like ground pork with potatoes in it. And oh. so they stuff the bird with that. But it's better when they put it in like a casserole dish and they put it in the oven and kind of brown the top of it. Better Un- than unbelievable. Oh yeah. Wait. I mean, personally, that's different. That's my choice. You know, because okay. it's, it's pork. It's hard not to love. Well, you feel know. free to bring over, bring in some leftovers next week. You uh, anybody who likes raisins in their stuffing, um, you should be deported. That's all what I got to say. Cranberry, cranberries, not in the stuffing. Do you like cranberry? Do you like the fresh cranberry, the homemade cranberry, or do you like it still jiggly right out of the can? I just got into cranberries a couple of years ago. The idea of them made me nauseous, and now I kind of like them. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, my grandmother served it this way. She just was able to get that entire thing out of the can onto a piece of lettuce. It still had the rings around it from the can <laughs> marks on it, and just let sit there, and we would poke it with our forks or our fingers and make a jiggle on the table. That's one of the fun my, Thanksgiving traditions. My wife makes something with marshmallows and cranberries. Oh, is that and- an ambrosia salad? Sure. Does it have coconut in it? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think so. I think yeah, that's ambrosia it's salad. It's so good. I love that stuff, man. Yeah. It's like a dessert, but it's served with the meal. Um, I was just reading uh, Zipia, who does a lot of great surveys. Uh, Massachusetts, the number one Thanksgiving side dish in Massachusetts, stuffing. Okay. Yeah, people love their stuffing around here. Unless Everywhere, it, I would think. Unless it's got raisins in it, you freaks. <laughs> yes, God is my witness. I thought turkeys could fly. Oh, that's right. The cl- <laughs> you remember that WKRP episode? Oh, the turkey the tur- drop. The turkey drop. Yeah, with Les Nessman. And so the the uh, every year you got to play. I mean, as as radio people, we gotta we gotta play that like every every year. I mean, that's just I'm a sure classic. We'll play that on Wednesday. You know, I, I'll play a little bit of it here. So you know, WKRP, a great TV show about a radio station in Cincinnati. They had a promo that was a turkey drop, and so they were going to drop turkeys from a helicopter. But nobody told uh, anybody that the the turkeys they were dropping couldn't fly. He's running around pushing each other. Oh my goodness! Oh, the humanity! Oh, 
in the bathtub. The turkeys are hitting the ground like sacks of wet cement. That's a classic episode. Yeah. We'll, uh, <laughs> yep. We'll, we'll definitely get to that. So I think we're also playing Alice's, another tradition, we're playing Alice's Restaurant on Thanksgiving. Once every again, year. we do that every year here on the Pike, which is which is always a fun tradition. Absolutely. Hey, Mike, I just wanted to call and complain because you are always making fun of me for drinking hard seltzers, but I'm drinking polar hard seltzers. I'm supporting Worcester, supporting your hometown, and it sounds to me like you don't hate hard seltzers, Mike. You hate Worcester, and that's not cool. Huh. Well, I don't Who's know. That? I don't. Well, you know, I have this thing about, you know, hard seltzers and that guys shouldn't be drinking hard seltzers. Um, but apparently that man's unhappy with me, my constant uh, ridiculing of men who, who drink hard seltzer, you know, like Truly or White Claw yeah. or something. He says he brings he drinks Polar, and by hating that, I hate Worcester. Well, obviously that can't be That's further. A from, strong leap. That can't be further from the truth, right? And I still think uh, you shouldn't be drinking hard seltzer if you're a man. Okay, that's just me. That's just me. You know, and I'm not going to pass judgment on anyone else, even though I just did a few seconds ago, and I'll continue to do that. But, yeah, sure. You know, what, whatever, you, whatever your beverage of choice is on Thanksgiving, what do you like to drink, Adam? Oh, goodness. Uh, I, I like soda. I don't drink soda a lot. So if I had a Dr. Pepper in front of me, I would love that, or a root beer in front of me, I would love that. Mm. But for drink, I mean, hard drinks, I mean, I'm not, eh. I'd rather drink soda or you who then drink out <laughs> you who would be a great that would be a great accompaniment to thanksgiving dinner right right that'd be fantastic you who with a little bit of uh you know maybe a little bit of uh what's the the godiva chocolate brandy in it oh. now you're talking right i mean if, if you put me at the kids table i'm just as happy there i'd rather sit with the kids than have to talk to adults are you gonna give the kids sips of your alcoholic beverage are you that uncle i might have yeah, I might have passed it along. I learned I it from my it uncle. Yeah, that's how I, yeah, that's how you get Hey, Mike, that Lou Rock's Diner, uh, what is a dining car? They just, uh, they built bricks around it, that brick facade, but it used to be a dining car. Lou Rock, Lou and Rocky Novia owned it originally. And then Jimmy and Tina, I don't know their last name, but they had it for years. And they're the ones that put all the bricks up around it. That's all. Thanks. Good job, Mike. Yeah, we're talking about the Edgemere Diner in Shrewsbury being uh, bought, and they're gonna, the new owner's gonna take it out to the Catskills, and he's gonna fix it up and take care of it, which is a good thing. We're, unfortunately, we're losing a, a classic diner there, but people have been texting in all morning about their favorite diners because we are blessed with a lot of great diners here, in uh, in Central Massachusetts. You can continue to yeah. do that if you want to let us know where your favorite diner is. Diners are kind of like clubs, you know. You go to you, you have your diner. You know it's like a I mean? pizza place. Everybody yeah. has their favorite one in their community. Now, the Edgemere, like I said, uh, you know, it was sold at auction. It's going to the Catskills. It needs a lot of work. The kitchen is not uh, usable right now. So it really has just been sitting there unused for so long. So uh, it's nice that it's going yeah. to be repurposed and refurbished upstate New York. Uh, but I had asked, is uh, Lou Rock's Diner an actual diner? So yeah, there thank you, you go. to this guy yeah. for... Uh, calling up and letting us know the uh, little history lesson there oh by the way this te- 508 texter says that they drink gravy on thanksgiving yeah that's that's a nice cocktail <laughs> okay a uh, couple of shots of gravy before you begin <laughs> yeah. hey i picked up my turkey yesterday it's a, a 12 and a half pound fresh butter ball from stop and shop so definitely no shortage and every year our family names the bird um so in order, uh, um, honor of Joe Biden's birthday, which is tomorrow on Saturday. His name is Joe Biden. <laughs> Happy turkey to everybody. Mm. Hopefully the Secret Service didn't hear that. They're, she's naming what? her turkey Joe Biden. What could go wrong there? Just uh, I mean, you're starting <laughs> know, out right? Thanksgiving dinner right. uh, with a political that's, that's, statement and comment. That's the number one thing they're saying not to bring up at Thanksgiving this year is politics. But, hey, we're going to name the turkey Joe Biden. Yeah, so. I mean, if you think Thanksgiving's going too long and you just want to go home, just uh, start <laughs> talking about politics. Today, by the way, the White House is going to pardon two turkeys named Peanut Butter and Jelly. And then the birds, I find this funny, are going to live out the rest of their lives at Purdue University. Oh, very funny. I see what they did there. Hey, how, there's a, didn't they hear there's a turkey shortage? What are you doing pardoning these turkeys? There's people freaking out because they can't find turkeys. 
You know, well, these two are these two are going to survive. They're going to make it. They're going to every year they pardon a couple of birds. I know, else. I know. Not you can't pardon turkeys during a turkey shortage. Come on. This woman just said she had no pro- problems finding her turkey, and you said you had no problem finding. No, a bird. but I'm just saying. You know, now's not the time to pardon poultry. That's all. All right. Wow. Okay. Wow. There's your breakdown lane. We do it every week <laughs> at this time. Feel free to leave a message. Uh, it's uh, on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 774-670-0231. We're here for you. Well, not really.